your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Ram Memorial Hospital receiving a massive donation valuing $89,000. And this was one that was vitally important for the medical facility. Shortage of hospital beds has been a major concern for some years now. But today, the island's premier health care facility was the recipient of 18 state-of-the-art hospital beds. And that was courtesy of the Rotary Club of Lucaya. The handover ceremony taking place Thursday afternoon with the beds on display for those in attendance. President Mena Alton Winters and past President James Carey says this vision started back in 2014. Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, K. Peter Turnquist, also sharing the significance of this donation, while Carmel Parker Dean, manager of the local Fidelity branch, shares why this partnership was so important. Carol Roll was the president and she was the first person to donate two hospital beds. So he liked the idea, I liked the idea, oh, the whole club loved the idea. And we were going to continue it and James took the, the run and he um, donated as under his ear. And uh, here I am following. The hospital beds um, equipment that we uh, donated was um, some funds raised in the amount of $89,000. Uh, we got that from clubs internationally as well as um, corporate organizations here locally. So it was very important to me because um, as um, President Minna has indicated, it was a project that started um, in 2016 with um, Carol's here and that's not the only thing that uh, we have donated to the RAN. Um, we've done incubators as well as other um, various items mm -hmm. and even in my year um, we donated some uh, two crash carts and um, footstools for them as well too. So everybody has to go to the RAN no matter which way you put it. So I thought it was very critical and vital even when I started my year to reach out to the hospital to see where the needs were are and um, try our best to support them. I'm sure all of us remember the crank beds that looked like some kind of medieval device uh, that was there before. And so these um, state-of-the-art modern beds are going to be a, a welcome addition uh, to this new, new facility that we uh, or renovated facility that we are uh, about to, to, to relaunch. Uh, I want to give uh, tremendous credit and thanks to the Rotary Club of Vakaya uh, for the continuous donations that they're making towards the Grand Memorial Hospital and by extension to the community of Grand Bahama. And I think Grand Bahama has a very special place in the heart of Fidelity Bank. And so last year when we would have hosted our New Beginning seminar, we decided to inject $50,000 in cash into the Grand Bahama community to various charities so that they can get themselves back up and running to provide those services post-Dorian. And so knowing that this particular project was on the way, me being an RCL member, I knew that this was one of our babies and that the cash injection would propel us forward to obtain the grant. And so Fidelity Bank was happy to partner with Rotary Club to get this project and to see it as a reality. Hospital Administrator Sharon Williams says RCL has always been a huge supporter of the Rand Memorial Hospital and adds that this donation is indeed timely. It's timely because in the next six weeks we have to start staging our equipment and furnishing for the reopening and relocation of our patients to our main hospital building. We're at the end of, nearing the end of that refurbishment and of course as indicated this is timely in terms of moving back into the hospital. And finally, in news, the homegoing celebration for sports figure and legendary swim coach Albert Bird Bell will be held at the Grand Bahama Memorial Park on Saturday, January 30th. Family and family members and close friends assembling at the YMCA to discuss other plans in motion to honor his life and his legacy. Romico Knowles has more. The homegoing celebration for the late Albert Bell is going to be a graveside service. Daughter of the legendary swim coach, Trudy Bell Gibson, says they will do their best to ensure that those whose lives he has impacted get a chance to say their final farewell. We'd like to facilitate the needs of so many persons that he has known and um, the many students and persons that he's impacted. We wanted to give them an opportunity to be able to 
just be in the area or to view him for the last time. Um, and so we saw it fitting to accommodate as much persons or the Grand Mahama community as much as possible to say their goodbyes. Director of the YMCA, Karen Pender-Johnson, says she has had the good fortune of working with Mr. Bell and he will always be remembered at their facility. He's a part of a legacy that started here back in 1969 when they started a swim club here at the YMCA. The YMCA director adds that she had the opportunity of sharing breakfast with him before his passing. Here's what she says she loved the most about him. There was no hidden agenda with Mr. Bird Bell, none whatsoever. And he welcomed everyone. I haven't, um, my son hasn't been with Mr. Bell for a very long time, but my short time there with him, I was impressed. I was impressed by his love, and I was impressed that that he didn't waver from who he was. And I think that for me, gravi I gravitated to that. Now, as a part of the homegoing celebrations, committee member Rashima Ingram says, Mr. Bell has had such a tremendous impact on so many persons in the community that they are planning a major motorcade. Island-wide motorcade that we're planning for Friday, January 29th. Uh, it's only fitting that we start from the 8 Mile Rock High School, the home of the Blue Jays. Mr. Bell will always be a Blue Jay. Uh, and we're going to pass through to as many or all of the schools on Grand Bahama. Ingram says Bell was a coach, but he was also an educator. And it's important for them to remember the work he has done at the schools. And at um, the 8 Mile Rock High School, as well as the Beacon School and um, the St. George's High School. Uh, so we want to go through through all of the schools, loud and proud, happy about the fact that he has been a staple in the Grand Bahama community. Mr. Bell passed away on January 16th at his home. Ramiko Knowles, ZNS Network News. Now, in efforts to honor the life and legacy of Albert Bell, family members and friends are petitioning to have a highway renamed after him. To sign the petition, you can go to www.change.org. Stay with us, our Facebook Friend of the Night, up next.